Divas and Devo. I'm back. When am I gone? I'm excited about this because, you know, I love some blonde hair, but girl, it has to be like the perfect blonde for me to wear. Like it has to have like some streaks in it, some highlights in it, some ombre in it. It has to have like some kind of root that looks natural. Need I explain more? So like, I like to botch up a name. That's my specialty. I do it very well, okay? I think it's called Knee Fly On Wigs or Knee Fly On Wigs. I, listen, Knee Fly On Wigs. Like, I want to pronounce everything. Knee Fly On Wigs? I'm not really sure. What is a Knee Fly On Wigs? Like, I don't really want my wig to fly on and I damn sure don't want it to fly off. But anyway, I was so psyched about this wig because it's actually gorgeous and the packaging was kind of nice too, especially the stuff that came in it. So, you know, I tried to be fancy this time when showcasing the wig in the box. Like, who cares about a box? But you do care about what comes in it. So this time, I changed Me, 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 me. Okay, you guys. So, Neflon Wigs. Your beauty, your style. This is how your items come packaged. You will receive a brochure, which basically tells you the instructions and how to care for your wig. Along with that, girl, you will get a wig cap, so that way you can make it look like a scalp. If you need some extra combs, they do provide that, along with an elastic band and some hair clips, which are really great tools. Now, let's not get it twisted, hunties. Yes, these are some of their 3D faux mink lashes. I don't think they're human hair, but either way, they're really nice and I do like the casing that the lashes do come in. Now get this, okay? I'm thinking like this is really, really cool. This is a satin bonnet, which is actually reversible. So it is kind of like a peachish light pink color on one side. And if you're feeling really fancy, girl, you could flip it over to the dark side. So let's meet this beauty right here. I'm not really sure if she she has a name but she is 20 inches okay she is 100% virgin hair human hair and she is a 13 by 6 lace frontal with a density of 150% and she has these ombre highlights in her so I really wanted this wig because I thought she was actually really gorgeous I love blondes like this it gives me highlight and dimension you know and once I do my little spin on it I'm hoping that everything will work out And this is what the actual lace looks like so it looks like it kind of like blends in you know kind of like with my skin color unfortunately the knots were not able to be bleached because the hair was already processed and colored but you know I'll definitely work my way around it the lace is really soft so just keep that in mind but I do like the color a lot so Neflon wigs I hope that I'm pronouncing it properly you know they do have a lot of units on their website this is a newer website to me and this satin bonnet is actually in a larger size so if you have braids or you know you want to wear your wig to bed girl and still look cute you can definitely do it with this reversible unit so I'll leave all of their information below your beauty your style I really did think that I could bleach the knots in this wig. I'm not really sure why. The knots were not dark, but they were kind of reddish brown, like the color of the hair. And no, they did not lift. Only probably because the hair was already dyed. But you know, it's always worth trying. But I did use some purple shampoo just to tone it down a bit. She reminds me of this other wig that I have that I absolutely love from my other... Well, from my other favorite, like these is this thing my favorite. I like I never even heard of it before. Listen, from my favorite company, I do have a wig very similar to this. So I'm hoping that this works out in my favor. Do I need to spray any lace tint on this? Girl, let me tell you guys. You know how you be sweating, you at the gym, you work out, you know what I'm saying? You just running around day to day and you take your wig off and you really don't want to wash it, even if it has been a week or two but you're in such a busy mode that you don't have time to wash and restyle it. But the cap inside smells a little bit kind of like not the best smelling world, you can pick up a B, Wig Fresh Cap Deodorizers, all right? So I do have three of them, and they actually smell really good. You can spray these on the inside of your caps. Let me tell y'all something. I sprayed it on the actual hair because it smells good. I have one that is called Egyptian Musk. It does not smell like the actual Egyptian Musk um, body oil or incense that we love, like from back in the day. Like, I love that scent. 
So that's the reason why I got this. It doesn't smell like that, but this stuff smells really, really good. Mango Madness, which is an awesome smell too, but it has a refreshing scent, especially if you like fruity scents. Then this one might just be for you. The one that's actually my favorite, which I really thought it was going to be Egyptian Musk, is the Coco Chanel one. Now this bad boy, as you can tell, look, I haven't used this enough, okay? This is a cap deodorant. It works really well. And if you want to spray it on the outside of your hair or on the hair, trust me, it'll smell really good. Especially if you're in an environment where there's a lot of like food cooking that can actually gravitate and grab onto your hair. Like if you're in a room and they smoke it. Ganja, honey. That will get in your wig too. I like these. Try the Coco Chanel one. This is my favorite scent, but I think there are like six or seven, but definitely try the Coco Chanel one. I went ahead and I did sew an elastic band. It comes with the combs in the front, so there are three of them, and the adjustable strap and the comb and the nape. I wasn't able to pluck the hairline. I mean, excuse me, bleach the... <laughs> oh my God, what am I saying? I did pre-pluck it and I pressed it off camera because I know you guys get, I don't really know what you guys want, but listen, this is what I like to do. We're going to get into this. We're going to Okay, you guys, so let's get ready to do this. I thought that I would be able to wear my wig cap underneath it, but the lace was a little bit, a little too see-through, especially where the wig cap was. Like, look, I was not about to glue this wig cap on, so let's just take it off and just do our thing. So the first thing you want to do, girl, is go ahead and clean off your hairline. If it's dirty and you ain't wash your face, I would suggest you get to doing that, or if you got on makeup. So I figured that I would take my tinting spray and try it out and see if it would give me a little bit color on this lace wig but apparently it did not work out that great in my favor so yeah maybe i'll need a darker color i really think like with these lace tints you need to let it settle in the wig for a few hours versus you know spraying it so now that we've got these clips situated from the Dollar Tree, like I tell you guys all the time, get to cutting. Like style your cutting, well style your cutting, what the hell does that even mean? Just get you some scissors or some eyebrow tr trimmers. Listen, I'm I'm trying the eyebrow trimmer thing, but first a girl gotta get a new pair of eyebrow trimmers cause a dull pair does not work out. So I'm gonna just use the scissors. Now as I told you guys, the lace is soft and you can see that. And I'm not like a huge fan on really soft lace because it takes a little bit more work to lay down. Okay, like it really does. But in the meantime, in between time, I'm just gonna customize this unit and make sure that it fits properly. I did place a part over my ear like so with my rat tail comb and I'm just gonna cut off that excess lace because you know, the wig was a little bit too big. Even though it's a medium wig size, which is standard average stock, everybody's head circumference is different. So sometimes you may need to customize it to make it fit a little bit better. Now I'm loving the color except for that one little chunky imprint in the front. I think the root color could have been blended a little bit better, but you know, we're gonna work through that as well. I thought I would spray the hairspray underneath the wig cap or underneath the lace this time just to do a little bit something different. I don't really do it as much, but you know, it's always nice to try something different. And to be honest, it does lay or hold just a little bit better, especially if you spray underneath and in between the part on the hairline. If you want maximum hold, definitely spray underneath and on top as you see me right here. Now, these eyebrow trimmers, girl, have had it. And you know what's so crazy? I just left the Dollar Tree, okay, and did not get none. But we gonna use this got to be styling mousse, okay? I told you guys before, I've been rocking with got to be like before they started trending. So this hairstyle mousse is nothing new on the market. I've had this can for actually some years. So we're gonna just take some of that mousse with this Dollar Tree little soft brush that ain't really doing the trick for me. And we're just going to sculpt those baby hairs into place. You know, I'm trying to kind of like cover up the lace on this. As you guys seen, I did switch the brush up to my green one. And I'm gonna just blow dry it in place just to make sure none of that, you know, kind of like lifts. Make sure you definitely have yourself a handy dandy rat tail comb. I would suggest getting you a metal tipped one. The plastic tip ones always seem to stick to any type of sticky surface like hairspray or gel. So try out the metal ones are a lot better. And if you're gonna go and if you're gonna decide to hot comb your wig while it's on your head, please be careful because if you come through with a burn mark, don't say that it was my fault. 
And I'm telling you guys, this is not my favorite part, using a hot comb, especially on my own head. I prefer the mannequin head. Now I'm gonna take my makeup, my pressed powder, and I'm just gonna try to blend it in, the, blend, blend the lace in. First I'm gonna use my MAC, which is, I think it's an NC45 or NC44, it's a lighter color, and I'm going to use that first, and then I'm going to definitely go in with the next one, which is darker. I'm just trying to get it to match as close as possible, so sometimes you definitely have to use two different types of coverages. I really prefer the cream, actually, um, concealer. And now I'm going to use my Estee Lauder, which is in, I think it's a medium dark. If you really want to know what color it is, just leave me a comment below. Or you can send me an email and I'll tell you the colors that I use. But let me tell you, I really honestly did think this wig was like in the price range of like cheap. But then when I looked up the price of it, I was like, oh. So it's not a hefty price, but it can be. I, listen, I don't know what your budget is, okay? I don't really know what you got in your bank account. I'm just telling you. So this wig is 20 inches, okay? Let me tell y'all that much. It's 20 inches. It's 13 by 6 lace, frontal wig, virgin human hair, straight wig, ombre brown, highlights, blonde. And um, the price of it is $349. So the density is 150%. This is supposed to be 20 inches. Um, it's looking a lot longer than 20 inches. I be telling y'all, these 20 inches of lace wigs don't be looking like that no more. They be looking like they a little bit more than 22 inches. But I'm not, I'm not, listen, I'm not complaining. I'm definitely not complaining, especially for $349. i am going to tell you the pros and the cons of this one because there are some things that I just didn't really agree with. Like, I don't really like the lace too much. Like, it's not like it's like a deal breaker, but I have seen some lace that is way better than this one, and I'm not like a really huge fan of this lace. Something about it is just like not, like, it's just not like making me really happy. Like, I didn't, you know what I'm saying? Like, I had to... I had to hairspray it a little bit more, which is okay, you're not a big deal, but I noticed when you have the lace wigs that, oh, come on, Lash. When you have lace wigs that the lace is like softer, it seems like it actually takes a little bit more hold. You ever get a lace wig and the lace is really soft? So this lace wig is soft, and I noticed that when I was cutting it off the nape. I don't like the fact that it didn't blend with my skin. Like, I really needed to melt it in. The lace color is supposed to be HD. Remember, like, you're going to see me fix my lash a couple more times. But, yeah. Um, in a recent video, I did show you guys the definition of an HD lace wig and just a regular lace wig. For what I'm noticing and what I'm seeing right here, like, HD is really supposed to blend, like, melt. Like, you're not supposed to see it. And I'm seeing it. Like, I'm seeing it. And also, I had to use two different coverages because I had to get it, like, exactly, like, to my skin color. Like, I love wigs that are just blonde. Like, I need wigs that are just blonde. The color scheme of this wig reminded me of my favorite wig. So, you can check out the information below. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. I mean, like, only if you want to, like, but I would really prefer you to. But, you know, on that note, I gotta go. I got things to do. And, I mean, like, I know you guys love me, you know? So, just make sure you share it. Uh, uh,